In Mississippi, annual rainfall is generally very good. However, rainfall during the summer growing season is unpredictable and usually is less than needed for a soybean crop to realize its full yield potential. Therefore, soybean producers look to irrigation to supplement their water needs. However, they need to know how much irrigation will be needed and what times are best to irrigate to realize the maximum economic yields. A team of scientists led by Dr. Ken Fisher, working at the USDA ARS Research Center in Stoneville, Mississippi, and aided by MSPB checkoff dollars, are studying how accurate irrigation timing will allow soybean producers to maximize yields and enhance seed quality. This is how they're doing it. Multiple soybean plots have been set up for experimentation. To carefully control the irrigation tests, the scientists are applying water through a variable rate center pivot irrigation system. The nozzles are activated by computer controlled solenoid valves and are arranged in 10 independently controlled zones. The amount of water applied to the test plots can be carefully controlled to ensure that the intended proper water application is achieved in each zone. There are two tests being run. The first is designed to establish precise water needs for soybeans. The test plots will be irrigated using a base irrigation amount that the scientists estimate is the minimum requirement for maximum yield. Using this base amount, they will then irrigate select test plots by a higher or lower percentage to determine if equal yields can be achieved with lower amounts or if higher yields can be achieved with greater amounts. A control plot that receives only rainfall is also included. The second test is designed to study the effects of irrigation based on days between irrigation events. The scientists are currently studying 7-day, 10-day, and 14-day intervals. The scientists regulate their irrigation times with rainfall factored in so that their results include total water received on each test plot. Ground sensors have been installed in each plot so that soil water content as affected by rainfall and irrigation can be documented. Seed will be harvested at maturity and both yield and seed quality from the different irrigation regimes will be measured. Results from this research will allow producers to more accurately apply irrigation water amounts that will result in maximum economic yield in seed of the highest quality. Your checkoff dollars working for you. The Mississippi Soybean Promotion Board.